Hey guys, uh, this is uh, Ponbai Beaner. I uh, just wanted to say I'm sorry I have not um, updated any of my videos. I realize some of them, um, the file locations or the addresses may have been changed and I have yet to have gone to them. them I, I have just uh, been taken away with life and I have not had a chance to update them. Um, but after this video, I think you guys are probably going to want to stop using the other videos because this one, in my opinion, is um, better in the fact that it, it's more responsive. It, you have a much better, easier time uh, getting the videos uh, to cast to your Chromecast. Um, I noticed with Avia that uh, it was kind of a, a point and shoot and sometimes you miss, sometimes it doesn't type of, of communication, whereas this uh, is pretty spot on most of the time. Um, I don't think I've had really much trouble with it. Um, and so, and and also it's free. Um, so I, I think that's kind of be a big motivator for a lot of you guys because with the video is like $1.99 or $2.99 for the, for the Chromecast support. Um, and so this one is just a lot easier and a lot better. Um, and I, th I think you guys will find it to be a much better fit for you guys. Um, I'm also going to be showing you guys how to do this on my um, NVIDIA Shield tablet. I don't know if you guys have that, but this is the, the NVIDIA Shield tablet. Uh, if you guys don't know what it is, it's a gaming tablet. Um, just it, It's first and foremost, and foremost a tablet. Uh, you know, it has Android uh, Lollipop on it, 5.0.1. Um, but it also has uh, gaming functions on it um, and so um, but it right now today is going to be a tablet for streaming videos um, one more thing I am um, going to be showing you guys how to uh, install it's it's XBMC, but it's a modified version of it. It's called TVMC, um, and so um, I think you guys are gonna like it because a lot of this, the um, add-ons that you guys like are already built into the application. All it does is install them automatically, and you're good to go. I'm actually going to uninstall it because I forgot to uninstall it before I start making the video so I'm just gonna go ahead and uninstall it right now so I can show you guys um, from A to Z the process that it's gonna take in order to get there so let me just go ahead and install it right now TVMC install there we go okay it is uninstalled um, let's see, we're done with that. So I'm going to have the add-ons in the description, but here's the four links that you're going to need. Um, don't worry about copying them. Like I said, they're going to be in the description. Um, first and foremost, you're going to need, a, a, this one for TVMC. It's uh, by TV add-ons. Um, I already have it downloaded, but if you want, just go ahead and, uh, uh, tap on that uh, download button and it's going to take you to um, a couple different links but uh, for the for the most part it's it's uh, has I think it's what is it 13.2 uh, I don't really remember what version it is um, but it, it's Cody so let's just go ahead and install that and then whenever you guys are done come back to the video and then we'll begin uh, we'll finish off from there okay so it's been installed um, as I was saying everything is exactly as you're seeing on your screen uh, it's the first run and everything so there might be issues going through this process uh, but I like it to do it this way because then at least you're seeing everything that's on my screen you're seeing it on your screen as well so um, Go to the TNVMC icon and open it up. As you can say it's uh, running for the first time. Um, the first time that it loads, it's going to take a little bit longer just because it's updating all the apps or all the add-ons. 
that's already built into the thing because it hasn't yet even installed the customization yet and uh, right here it says uh Right there it says uh, click here to finalize the TVMC installation. It still has to actually update what's already been installed. So in the bottom right corner it says working and it's going to be um, updating some application that it still needs to update. So I'm not going to even click on uh, that um, link yet just because it's probably not going to even react to my touch just because it is updating all this stuff. Um, so. We will uh, give it a second and uh, see. Should be done probably in the next 20 seconds or so. Okay, looks like it's done. So we're just gonna click on that. Continue. Okay, it's done installing. It's gonna take you back to the main menu and it's gonna show you have uh, um, add-ons available. The ones I pretty much use is uh, Ice Films and One Channel. One Channel's kind of weird lately. Um, thing about Ice Films is you have to disable the metadata or else it really doesn't work. So just disable it, okay. And you should be good to go from that point on. Um, I'm just gonna load a video real quick just to show you that it does work. And they will proceed with the rest of the tutorial. And actually it is going to do something that I gotta get out. Cause I don't want to ruin it. Back out. Okay, so it's going to be there. It's not there, good. Okay. Just making sure. Okay. So, just run that. Okay. As you can see, it's working. Let's get next to there. And then we'll proceed with the rest of uh, the process in order to stream. So, um, let's see. Go ahead and uh, Download the next three links. Uh, like I said, they're going to be in the description. Um, the first one is going to be the ES File Explorer. I use Root, uh, Root Explorer. Everybody kind of likes their own applications, but this one's free. Um, looks like it crashed on me. Let's try that again. Okay. Um, 
that ES file link. For some reason, it didn't. Chrome didn't like it, so it, it closed it. It'll be in the description, anyways. Um, so, download the ES file manager, and then you're going to want to download the Play Core Player Core Factory .xml file. It's right down here at the bottom. Um, just uh, download that, and then the last thing you're going to want to do is download the local cast for Chromecast uh, application. It's free. Um, and so once you're done those options or all those uh, links um, you're going to want to install the local cast so go ahead and, and install it and then um, after that you're going to want to um, copy that player core factory.xml file to the proper uh, link or the folder directory and let's see It's gonna be this is zero. We gotta be one. So you're gonna to want to go to your link or your folder or your file. Sorry, I have them all separated. One for Evia, one for Localcast, one for MX Player. Localcast, just copy it. And X that. Go back out to the thing. So then, what you're going to do is. Just, um, every Android device is different. Some is going to be on the external, some will be on the internal. Um, so if you go to the external, go to Android, Data, and then to TVMC, Files, it's not going to be there on mine. So you're going to want to go to the internal, which is SD card 0. And then it's going to be the same thing, Android, Data, TVMC, Files, then XBMC, and then User Data. And then you're going to just paste it in there. So right now you're gonna see it, it's right there. Um, and so you're good to go on that part. And then the last thing you just need to do is open up your local cast. And then just select your Chromecast device that you're wanting to select it to. I'm in the basement, so I'm just gonna go and choose the basement. And then on your screen, it should show the local cast, um, the local cast uh, screen or icon. Um, I should have it on the video, uh, so you can at least see what it looks like. And then, um, what you want to do is leave that open without disconnecting it from um, local cast. And then you're just going to go to the TMV TMV. TVMC icon. And let's just try streaming this one more time. Popular. And we're going to do the same one. And this time, instead of showing the video on your tablet or your device, it is actually going to um, stream it to the local cast, which is then going to push it to your Chromecast. So you should see that here right now. It's going to ask if we want to play it. Just play it. And then it's going to stream it and as you can see on the video it is streaming it and uh, I'm not going to play it the whole way I'm just going to do a couple seconds just to show you that it does work and then that's the good good to go on that video and then if you want you can always just exit out by tapping on that exit out of the TV that way but that's basically how you do it with local cast it's free it's much easier to use than a via or via i still don't know how to pronounce it whatever um and so yeah if you guys like this video feel free to like it feel free to subscribe to my channel i also have twitter i also have a facebook page under phone by a beaner um it will all be in the description um so if you guys have any questions i will definitely try to answer them um, 
and I will definitely try to make it a point to make sure the links are all current and there's no bad links. So thank you very much for watching my video and you guys have a great day. Thank you guys very much.